Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, this ain't working without you guys. All right, so we got some news on our Dallas Cowboys here. Uh, Tyler Badash is going on IR because of his hamstring. Uh, we, he tweaked his hamstring um, before the game two weeks ago, which means he'll be on there for a minimum of three weeks, which, which hurts, um, you know, although we never intended on him being a starter for us uh, at the beginning of the season, it was Joe Looney um, that we had penciled in as our starter, but we were, you know, lucky to find that guy because he actually played pretty good uh, for a rookie. And hopefully Joe Looney, you know, last week, was, or excuse me, two weeks ago, was his first game back. He's had a little bit more time to kind of heal up and everything else and get his legs back underneath him. Hopefully he'll be able to play it even better than he did um, uh, the game uh, against the Steelers. Um, yeah, but in other news, and this may be a help for the Cowboys as well, they have activated Brandon Knight. Brandon Knight was actually penciled in to be our number three. Man, I got pain in my fingers. Yeah, yeah, I know I'm a messy painter. I know I'm a messy painter, okay? I did get some on the door frames. I, I did get some of that paint on the door frames, okay? Because I know how you smart asses are. Um, but anyway, back to Brandon Knight. Brandon Knight was penciled in to be our third string uh, starting tackle, okay? It was supposed to be Lyle Collins, and it was supposed to be uh, Tyron Smith, and then it was supposed to be Brandon Knight. So that may actually be a bonus to help us out on the offensive line. We'll have to wait and see how well that works and how much playing time he gets. Um, I got to think that he will be better than uh, Terrence Steele. Terrence Steele leaves a little bit to be desired. Let's just leave it at that. So with that being said, you're up to date with what's going on with our Dallas Cowboys. <sighs> I'm ready for the game. It just seems like it's been so long since we've seen a game and even longer since we've seen a victory. It'll be interesting to see how Andy Dalton plays after being the first man to have a concussion and COVID at the same time. Maybe that will have uh, gotten him a slice of humble pie and maybe it'll make him uh, a little bit better as far as the player goes. Maybe the players will be kind of like, okay, we'll cut you some slack this time. Let's see where it goes. I, I hate this. That You know, 2020 has just been a mother humper. I should have known. Right over here is where Lucky's used to be. You know, that was our sports spot last year. And um, right after uh, Christmas, and they had a dispute with the landlord, I guess, for the cost of the uh, price of the um, lease on the place. And they just, without warning, shut down. I guess in retrospect, it was fortunate for them to have shut down when they did. So that way they didn't lose, you know, the slow death that a lot of places have um, staying in business through 2020. I should have known when Lucky's went out, things were just going to be bad. I really miss uh, being able to go there on Sundays and hang out, you know, with the uh, Dallas Cowboy fan club that was there and all the people. And 2020 has just been bad. I hope 2021 gets to be better. I pray that it's going to be better. All right, y'all. That's all I got for you. Hope you guys are having a great Saturday. I'm um, out running some errands. Um, one of the things they always say, if you're in a survival situation, like let's say you're stranded on a deserted island or lost in the woods and things, the first thing you always want to think about is shelter. Okay, You want to make sure you got a place to keep you dry, keep you warm, keep the elements off of you. Okay, that's what you always want to do. And with that, what you next want to do is you always want to improve your situation. Improve your situation. By that means is 
figure out, you know, can you put a little extra thatch on the, the roof in there to keep a little more water out? You know, can you put a wall on there to try and keep more of the heat in? You know, can you, can you do some things to improve your situation? And you should take that in everything you do. You know, my set works really, really good, but you need to constantly think of how you can improve it and make things better. And I've got a couple of ideas of some things I'm going to do that you may not really notice, but they should improve the situation. All right, y'all. This is Thanksgiving week. I need to go find me a turkey bird. So we can have Thanksgiving at home. It's been a couple of years since I've cooked Thanksgiving dinner, but I'm glad I, I actually enjoy it. So hope you guys are having a good one. Peace.